Hello once again, all my treasure seekers and fortune finders, and welcome to another Collectibles Coins and Pay Dirt. Today, retail ripping again, and more hard hits. Except for today, we get to break into some football. Panini Prism 2022 Football Blaster Boxes, and I'm going to say, this is definitely some hard hits. So, like a linebacker coming at your quarterback, can we protect the goodness that is the football cards? So, guys, we're going to be ripping four boxes of Panini Prism 2022 Football Blasters. These consist of four cards per pack, six packs per box, 24 cards total, and we're looking for the signatures. Now find five blaster exclusive red, white, and blue prisms. Now this, as you can tell, is a Walmart box. You get red, white, and blue prisms. With Target, you get blue prisms, I believe, and with uh, Fanatics, there's a different color prism. So each box from different places has a different color prism. Fanatics is definitely the one you want to go for. I do want to do Target exclusive blasters before long, but you're on the lookout for blaster exclusive memorabilia cards. Find one silver prism on average per box. Now, there's not really a whole lot in here. We're looking for fireworks. We're looking for checkerboards. We're looking for rookie gear or rookie variation prism silvers. There's not a whole lot of other that we're looking for. A few parallels and variations, but these are really, really stingy, especially about your prisms given rookie cards. So, really, I'm, I'm on the lookout. I want a nice Brock Purdy in a prism. I don't know if it'll happen or not, but there's only one way to find out. When we come back, I'm going to set this up as a box battle. We'll have box one, two, three, and four and see which had the better hits. Like I said, we're really looking for some variations. We want that memorabilia card. I do like the red, white, and blue prisms. To me, they're a really nice looking card. Something a little different than you're going to see in other stores, but we're looking for parallels and variations in those and to hit a memorabilia or an autograph would just be awesome. Now, I've watched quite a few of these, and there are hits in these box, although they're rare. So can we do it with four? I've watched about six cases of these being open. That's right, guys. I try to do my homework before we go into a video now. Doesn't mean I'll always say the player's names right or get it right, but I'm really trying to give y'all a very good <laughs> quality product. Now, this is retail, guys. Don't expect what you'll hit in a hobby box out of a retail box. These are much harder hits. Now, this, although is a hard hit, is not one that sits on the shelf for very long. Prism has a really high value. They really hold their value. Therefore, you don't find these much. This isn't like the Don Russ we done here the other day with the basketball where they set forever. When these come up, they go out. So I happened to find two at one of our Walmarts and two at another Walmart. And really, I haven't seen much more than that on store shelves. So we're really lucky to even get this product to open it up. But will we hit something special? Only time will tell. Brock Purdy is in this set, and that is who we're searching for. To have one of his Prism rookies? Ah, oh, sooky sooky now. Will it happen? Well, it won't as long as I'm sitting here talking. So I'm going to get it shut down. When we come back, we're going to break box for some hard hits. All right, guys, let the retail ripping hard hitting begin. Box number one on the block. And as y'all saw the last video, well, we didn't do so great. We hit a few nice cards, but that was about it. 
I do expect a lot more from these prism boxes. And we do get one silver prism on average per box. And if y'all want to stop the video and look at what you can hit in these boxes while I rearrange my light source, there we go. That is what all we can hit in these prism boxes. I look inside the box and I really like the way they've got the separator and divider in these. Here we go. Box number one out of four. What will be our pulls today? <clears throat> will we get a party? Here we go. Pack number one of the retail rip. Let's just set y'all right there. Kyle Pitts, Marquise, and already, look at that. Look at that, guys. First hit, Daniel Bellinger, Silver Prism, rookie card. That is a good way to start it out. Mr. Aaron Rodgers on the brilliance. But look here, guys. Oh, what a horrible, horrible, horrible... And that's why I am not a particular fan of the Chrome cards a lot of the times. We hit our Silver Prism first off. Rookie card. Panini is very stingy about their rookie cards and their Prisms. We hit a nice Daniel Bellinger. And we've got a bubble in it. <clears throat> I, I love the cards. I hate the quality control. But we did hit an Aaron Rodgers brilliance. Now, what's really sad is I don't believe we're going to see a lot of rookie, especially on the silver prism. We're definitely looking for a Brock Purdy. If it's a Brock Purdy, it would have killed me. But what monetary value was there, to me, is almost gone. So that's unfortunate. Let's not dwell on it. We got five more packs to go. Here we go. David Stevenson, and this is one of our red, white, and blue prisms. Devin Lloyd, another rookie. Check that out. Now, I really do like this. We're getting good rookies. And another rookie, Kenny Pickett. All right, well, I said, you know, watch. This is going to be the big box right here, guys. Devin Lloyd on the red, white, and blue prism, a rookie. Just slide you in there right now. That's nice. And for our regular, we hit another rookie, Kenny Pickett. A good rookie to have. Print lines. Oh, Prism. Panini, what are you doing to us? That is my only gripe about the aluminum cards. They're so horrible about the print lines and the bubbles and the... My big, big gripe with the aluminum cards is exactly that right there. And look, here's the thing. The normal cards, you don't see that on. It's always your good cards that's going to have it. So, yeah, ran over. Ran over. I know. We got more cards to open. Pack number three. <clears throat> Can we hit the Brock Purdy? And even a... Wow, is that... Did we get two silver prisms in this? Ed Reed. Matt Juden. Let's pull from the back our red, white, and blue prism. Not a rookie. A Campbell. Back to our Matt Juden. Did we hit another silver prism in this box? We did. Is it a rookie? It's a rookie. <laughs> Alec Pierce on the gray variation. Ooh. 
We have a silver prism with a gray variation, silver variation. Ooh, we did hit a nice little parallel on a rookie card. Not Brock Purdy, but definitely that is a hit. So there we go, guys. That was an awesome hit. First box is going to be hard to beat. Alec Pierce with the Colts on the Silver Prism variation and actually a really good looking card. Not a lot of problems with quality in that one. So, wow. Wow. That was all right. Here we go. Not the best. Not the worst. That 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 one, you are definitely taking the center stage as of right now until we hit a Brock Purdy. So that was an unexpected surprise and one that's I'm really glad to have got. It's hard to keep these where we have an Emmett Smith, a legend in the sport. Thompson. Trevor Lawrence on our red, white, and blue prism. Beautiful, beautiful Trevor Lawrence. And a Chris Olive. Another rookie. Now, I will tell everybody, these are looking much better than the ones I'd watched. Generally, it was one good box out of five. Here we go with another rookie. The Saints. So, this box is shaping up to be really, really nice. It's going to be hard to beat, guys. And I'm running low kindly on sleeves. Mr. Trevor Lawrence, you stick around right here with our red, white, and blue. And unfortunately, this one isn't a numbered parallel. It would be really nice to hit a good numbered parallel in these packs. You don't see that very much. Here we go. You sit right there. Still looking for a Brock Purdy, even a base Brock Purdy. Right now, that's your hot seller. Even if we could hit a base Brock Purdy, I would be... Terrace Marshall Jr. Hunter Renfro. Ooh. Steve Largent, and check it out, a Jalen Tolbert. We have a Jalen Tolbert red, white, and blue prism rookie. Another really good pull out of these packs. So, yeah, we're doing all right. This is much better than I'd went into this video expecting. Jalen Talbert rookie card on the red, white, and blue prism. We got a parallel in this box with the silver. I'm telling you, box one is going to be hard to top. Box one is definitely coming out strong. Kyler Murray, Rex Burkhead, and our red, white, and blue. Is it Xavier McKinney with a Charles Cross rookie card on the regular? Not the best pulls in the last pack, but the box in general. The box in general was really good. Still looking for a Brock Purdy. Haven't seen a Purdy yet. But we still got three boxes to go. And to be honest, I'm not upset with this box whatsoever. Other than the quality of the cards. The hits was great. The quality's not so much. So a little recap of box number one real quick. The Alex Pierce rookie on the Silver Prism Parallel. A Jalen Talbert Tal red, white, and blue prism. A Callis Campbell uh, Trevor Lawrence, we have a rookie Kenny Pickett, Devin Lloyd, rookie card on the red, white, and blue. 
We have a Chris Olive rookie card. We have another Silver Prism rookie with Daniel Bellinger. A Aaron Rodgers brilliance. Xavier McKinney and ending it up with a Charles Cross. Box number one was really fun. That was a good, good box. Can two top it? Now, generally, you don't get two or three good boxes in a row. Matter of fact, you get a good box out of every five. Maybe with me getting these from different stores, we might have better luck. Still looking for a nice mem card or something numbered. Box number two. Here we go. Let me move all of my base cards to the side. Box number two. What can you do? First pack of box two. And this is... This has so far been a really fun opening. We start out with Jerry Judy. Eric Kendricks is our... Oh, look at that. I'm not even... We're going to pull from the back. Drake London. Rookie card with the new recruits. We'll get you sleeved up. Eric Kendricks. We have our silver on the back. Is it a rookie? Is it a rookie? And it is, guys. Silver rookie. Who do we hit? Oh, Isaiah Pacheo. Now, that on the silver prism parallel is a really good hit. That, honestly, listen. Box number two is Isaiah Pacheo. On the silver variation prism, you're guaranteed one silver variation per box on average, which means that you might get it, you might not. And I've yet to see any Panini points, so I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. I know it's going to happen one of these days. Here we go. Drake London on the new recruits. Silver variation. Unless we get another... Variation like we did in box one. The rest of them should be the red, white, and blue pr prisms. I'm telling you, a Brock Purdy. We're looking for that Purdy. Justin Fields on our base. Josh Allen. Carson Strong. Another rookie on the red, white, and blue, guys. And Jack Jones. <clears throat> the boxes I was watching... Didn't have nothing like this. I don't know if I got two just amazing boxes, but I'm not going to complain. Carson Strong on the rookie red, white, and blue prism. This has been really fun. Jack Jones, still no Brock Purdy. With hits like this, I don't think we're going to get a Purdy, at least not in this box. They're being too good to give us a card like that right now. Here we go. I'm enjoying this. This is a fun pull. Prism, you either hit it or you don't. Sometimes these products are just a super hard pull. This has not been one of those times. DeAndre Hopkins. Jonathan Greenard. Greenard. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, what is our insert? Tyler Boyd on the Bengals. This is a regular base. And then we hit our red, white, and blue. No rookie this pack. Not complaining, though. There we go. We'll do a little recap at the end. All right, halfway through second box. Heaven McPherson, I love the look of that. Daniel Carson and Mike Williams on the red, white, and blue prism. There it is, guys. Right there it is. There's our Brock Purdy. There it is. 
Would have loved to seen it in the prism, but even this base card sells really amazing. Oh, yeah. We did it. We hit a party. Check it out. Even his base is selling just amazing. You'll see the numbers here. So, really good. I would love to hit that in one of the variations. But I'm not going to complain. We did hit a Brock party. Really, really hard card to hit. I do believe the veteran set is 300 cards with a rookie set of 100 cards with a total of 400 card base. So to hit this Brock Purdy was really, really, really good. I'm, I'm very proud. But I do believe that, yep, 300 base and 100 rookies. So that really was quite a pull. Now, can we get him in a variation? Can we get him in a variation? We've done seen our silver this pack. Rashad Bateman. Travis Jalen Hurts. And our another rookie card, Jake Ferguson. Still can't believe the Brock Purdy. But that first pack, even with the Brock Purdy, that first pack is going to be hard to beat. Jake Ferguson on the red, white, and blue. Do have a Brock Purdy base. Last pack. Can we hit last pack magic? Only seen one variation. We have another red, white, and blue. Tony Pollard. <clears throat> Adam Thielen. Jameis Winston on our red, white, and blue prism. And Jameis Williams. Winston Williams. Jameis and Williams. Jameis Winston. Not exactly last pack magic, but hey, I'm not going to complain. So box number two, not treating us horrible whatsoever. We did hit our Brock Purdy. We did hit a few decent rookies and some nice vets. I do believe the big card out of this is definitely going to be the Brock Purdy. So, box number two recap. And I really like these sets. I like the Prism set. is not overloaded with inserts. Inserts is generally not as good as far as a return on your money goes. And listen, it's not always about your return. It's about having fun. But... We got a Brock Purdy, Mike Williams, red, white, and blue, Tyler Boyd, red, white, and blue, rookie card, Isaiah Pacheo. We have a red, white, and blue rookie, Carson Strong, red, white, and blue rookie, Jason Ferguson, Jack Jones on the rookie, Jameis Winston, following up by a rookie, Jameis Williams, and the new recruits, Drake London. Box number two is on it, doggone it. Wow. I'm telling you, it's going to get harder and harder to beat. These boxes have treated me very well today. So I don't know if I consider this one the hard hits. Generally, the hits are not as well as what we've seen today. Brock Purdy, last round and you draft pick and just killing it. Expect to see great things from him. Here we go. Pack number one, box number three. It's going to take a lot. Khalil Herbert. Derek Carr. Oop. Just a regular... Tyler Conklin, and Ray Lewis on the red, white, and blue. Still no Mem card. Still no Brock Purdy vari variation parallel. But I'm telling you, we're going to do it. Now, this box has started out like this might be one of the flops. Here we go. Ray Lewis for the Ravens on the red, white, and blue parallel. This has been a super fun rip, guys. 
Prism is either really great or really horrible. Dak Prescott. Harrison Smith. Red, white, and blue. Do we have a rookie? No rookie. Davis Mills. And our rookie is... Mathis on the... And I keep saying rookie just like I know to expect a rookie back there. Can we hit another Brock Purdy? I'd like one to sell and one for my collection. And I don't know how many more of these I'm going to get to see in stores. Although I will try to order some Target Blasters off of eBay. I don't know if I want to pay up for the Fanatics Blasters or not, guys. They're... A little more pricey. Uh, this I give $37.95 in our local Walmart. So I believe the Fanatics on eBay is running from $45 to $55. Even sometimes a little bit more expensive. Here we go. Dawson Knox. Rashad Weaver. Oh, come on, man. Did we hit an auto? <clears throat> uh, Panini has a habit about flipping regular cards around. Did we hit an auto? Red, white, and blue. Rookie card. Montreal, Washington. Really nice red, white, and blue. You got to be kidding me. Guys, that's it. We hit a memorabilia. Check it out. Kyle Hamilton, rookie card, mem, and a Panini Prism. Hard hits just got put down. We did it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The enclosed authentic memorabilia is not from any specific game or event, but do y'all know how hard it is to pull one of these? Uh, that's just... All right, so box number three, I do believe, is in the lead. Mama, can you get me one of my uh, thicker sleeves, please? Yeah. Yeah. We just hit a memorabilia card, guys. I really wasn't expecting that, and I really could not feel the thickness through it. Let me see if I've got one of my thicker sleeves over here. No, I need, I need one. And I'm just knocking my sleeve, babe. Give me just a second, guys, to get this sleeved up. And at the end, I'm definitely going to put this in. Can you believe it? Uh, I'm knocking my base everywhere. Just can't believe I just hit a memorabilia card out of prism. Pull me one out. It, it don't matter. They're both. So we did it. One of the harder hitting boxes we just pulled a memorabilia card out of. I, I can't. This is just. This is beyond awesome, guys. Kyle Hamilton. Rookie card. I'm. I'm beyond speechless. Each one of these boxes has been amazing. The Silver Variation, the Brock Party, and now a memorabilia card. Wow. That's what you're looking for in these boxes. Now, do we get another variation? Do we still get our Silver vari Variation? I'm not going to complain if we don't. Cortland Sutton... Austin Eckler, George Kittle, and our rookie card is Ty Chandler. Wow. Just wow. Oh, I can't believe it. After the hard pulls from yesterday, 
has definitely made up for it. And remember, guys, I want y'all to vote on which box has been the best. Is it the mem- memorabilia card? Remember, you don't see a lot of these out of a prison box. Now, still yet to hit anything numbered. Can we pull something numbered out of here? David Montgomery with the Bears. And our... Oh, there it is. There's our silver prism. Not a rookie. Donovan Peoples-Jones, we did hit our silver variation, and an emergent Kenneth Walker III. So we did hit our, still hit our silver, and we still got one more box to go. One more, but that is the rares you're looking for. Is look for blaster exclusive memorabilia cards. That is one of them we're definitely looking for. We just hit one of the hard hits, guys. Now, I want to brought Purdy Silver. I want to brought Purdy Silver. Yeah, I'm asking for a whole lot. Or a brought Purdy memorabilia card. <laughs> Here we go. Final pack of box number three. Prism has been so nice to us. Zach Ertz. Bobby Wagner. Our rookie card is Sam Howell. Nice rookie to have. Bobby Wagner again. And our red, white, and blue. Rashad White. Another really nice Rookie Rashad White on our red, white, and blue. Wow. And this is why, even though these boxes don't have some of the better hits, that you don't see them in the store shelves. And from my experience, Prism has been amazing. At They really hold their value. This is one of most people's favorite sets, although I'm more keen to the Mosaic or the regulars like the Donruss. Prism really holds its value. If you can hit the good cards, they do stand the test of time if you get the good quality. That's definitely a problem with this product. Final six, and then we can determine a winner. That's going to be hard to do, guys. This is going to be a hard product to call. Who will win this pack battle? Pack number one, box number four of this opening. Lamar Jackson starting us off. Jerry Sneed. Deontay Johnson and a Kyler Murray vet on the red, white, and blue. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I always take the time to sleeve them up because if not, I would end up messing them up. To me, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Pack number two. Fun rip today. Robbie Anderson. Aaron Jones on the Packers. Oh, and Big Dan Moreno. Nice vet on the red, white, and blue prism. And an Evan Neal on our rookie card. Big Dan Moreno. Miami Dolphins. How great would it be to have one of his autos? My wife has got me on the lookout now for a Brian Erlacher auto. I did find some in the Leaf Spectra that is within a price range that I would feel comfortable at. So I'm now on the lookout for a Erlacher auto. She's a, she's a Chicago Bears fan. Being from 
up that area. DJ, DJ Chark Jr., Mr. Cooper Cup. Oop. Devin McCourty. Does that mean a rookie red, white, and blue? Oh, well, here we go. Y'all done saw it. Yes, it is. Kenny Pickett, another great rookie to pull for the Steelers. Red, white, and blue. Ah, I can't believe it. I'm having just amazing luck. Amazing. Amazing, amazing luck with these. Here we go. Joe Mixon, <clears throat> Andre Johnson, Michael Carter for our red, white, and blue, and then our rook, Pierre Strong Jr. And this isn't, I watched a lot of these pulls yet again. And this wasn't the results that uh, most of the breakers had. So we've done really, really good. Uh, excuse me, guys. Done really good. I'm excited. We haven't got our silver prism out of this yet. Still a chance at a nice Brock Purdy silver. And I believe we've got our silver in this one. So let's just pull from the back. Emergent Mal Malik Willis, AJ Terrell, Marcus Allen. This should be our silver. It is. Is it a rookie? No rookie shield. We do have Ronnie Lott. Well, I'm not going to complain. Not the best. I was really hoping for that Brock Purdy. I, I started to see the helmet and the 49ers and I was kindly excited but no rookie shield not to be today I really I saw that helmet but the rookie shield was gone so had my hopes up here we go last pack of the break guys this has been a really fun rip I, I really thought I had that Brock Purdy I really did so we've got Miles Garrett Jacoby Myers Red, white, and blue is Jonathan Dotson, another really good rookie. And then Roger McCleary. So fourth box, not as great as box number one, number two, and number three. Even though we did finish with a rookie, red, white, and blue, Jonathan Dotson. So let me get these sleeved up, guys, and then we'll go through each pack, what we got. And I'd like to hear y'all's, every one of you, tell me, who do you think won this battle? Box one, box two, box three, or box four. Let's just stick you there. There's no sense in sleeving you up. But our emergent Malik Willis, definitely. So box one, starting out. I was very surprised, and I thought it wouldn't get much better. We did get the variation on the Alec Pierce, a nice rookie variation on the Silver Prism. We hit a Jalen Talbert rookie, red, white, and blue, a Campbell red, white, and blue, a Trevor Warrant third, white, and blue, Kenny Pickett rookie, Devin Lloyd rookie card on the red, white, and blue, Chris Olive, Daniel Bellinger, Another rookie on the Silver Prism. A brilliant Saren Rogers, which, by the way, is absolutely a gorgeous card. A Xavier McKinney, red, white, and blue. And our final rookie was Charles Cross. That was a really good pack. And all intents and purposes, guys, for a Panini product, really, really, really good pack. Box number two. This one was... Because of the Brock Purdy, really helped out. We did get the Brock Purdy. It is just the base. But then we hit a Mike Williams red, white, and blue. Tyler Boyd red, white, and blue. A rookie Isaiah Pacheco. 
a rookie Carson Strong, red, white, and blue, a rookie Jake Ferguson, red, white, and blue, Jack Jones, rookie, Jameis Winston, red, white, and blue, Jameis, Jameson Williams, and then finally a Drake London for our new recruits. Box number two. Box number three. This was such a surprise and one that I didn't expect. And I'm going with box number three as my big hitter just because we did hit a memorabilia card. But we hit a Kyle Hamilton, a Sam Howell, Rashad White on the rookie red, white, and blue. Donovan Peoples-Jones on our silver prism. We hit an emergent Kenneth Walker the third, a Ty Chandler rookie, red, white, and blue George Kittle, red, white, and blue Montel Washington rookie. We hit a Mathis rookie card and a Davis Mills red, white, and blue, Ray Lewis red, white, and blue. This was my strongest box, although I'm not going to complain about one or two. Third box, not as much on the big hits. A Malik Willis on the emergent. A Roger McCreary on the rookie card. A rookie Jonathan Dotson, red, white, and blue. I really like that one. Our silver is a Ronnie Lott. Unfortunately, not a rookie. Michael Carter, red, white, and blue. Pierre Strong Jr. on the rookie. Kenny Pickett rookie card, red, white, and blue. Another really good one. Dan Marino hit a big Dan Marino red, white, and blue. That was the redemption of the box to me, even though the value isn't as great. <clears throat> An Evan Neal rookie card and ending it off with a Kyler Murray on the red, white, and blue. Guys, that was not hard hits. I took that one in stride and got back up, and we run it for a touchdown. Panini 2022 NFL trading cards. Prism has failed me today. But that's not a bad thing. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I had an amazing time. This was a really fun, fun pull. I can't believe that we had the hits like we did from a Walmart blaster box. It can be done. Here's the proof, guys. Now, value, you're not going to get the value back out of a blaster box. Football cards and cards in general isn't about getting the value, but the fun of the ripping, the collecting of the sets, the thrill of the hunt. It is the treasure hunter's dream. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this edition. We've got another hard-hitting product when we come back that could have some even better hits than these. What will it be? I'll leave you all to ponder that. Until the next adventure, may your pans be full, your smiles be golden, your clouds be silver lined, and your prisms be a memorabilia. We'll see you on the next edition, Treasure Seekers.